getting your chicken tractor to go from point A to point B is as easy as doing this. And today we're going to show you how to do it right here on the Molokai Homesteading Project. Hello and welcome to the project today. Today we're going to install a pivot wheel system on our chicken tractor. The first thing that I wanted to do was to make sure that I got the right height off the ground when the wheel was engaged. The easiest way to do that is to just lift the tractor off the ground and I spaced it out with 2x4s. In this case it took me two 2x4s to get to the right height. After getting the right height, I take the wheel and set it up against the tractor. This is the right height that the wheel will be when the wheel is engaged. So once I did that, I just took a pencil and I put it through the wheel and I made a mark on the tractor. This mark will become the center point of the axis. It will also serve as the center point of the wheel when it is engaged. It is very important to get this point right because this point signifies the height of the tractor once the wheel is engaged. Once this mark is put in place, this is also the same line that the stationary pin will go. So now let's get to work and see how this is put together. I'm going to be using a 2x4 and I will be cutting it 24 inches and then ripping it in half. And with the magic of camera, we are now at 24 inches. So now it's time to take our board and rip it in half. I essentially want to use a 2x2 for my pivot wheel system, so I'm going to rip a 2x4 in half. A 2x4 is 3.5 inches flat, so I'm going to measure a little less than an inch and a three quarter because I'm going to leave a quarter inch for the blade. Once I have the measurement lined up, We'll turn on the saw and rip the 2x4. Quick and easy, and it's a lot of fun as well. The next task on the list is to drill two holes. The first hole that we're going to drill is going to be for the pivot. The pivot is what's going to allow the assembly to move up and down freely as you engage and disengage the wheel. I have measured an inch and a quarter from the end of the board and this will be the center line for my pivot point for the wheel assembly. The next hole we will drill is for the wheel itself. I am measuring 13 and a half from the other end of the board and this will be the center line for where the hole for the wheel will go. We'll drill the hole for the pivot. drill the same hole for the wheel. Now that we have both holes drilled, one for the pivot and one for the wheel, you can now get a basic understanding of how this assembly will work. Now let's attach the wheel and then we'll go put it on the tractor. Using the wheel of an old high wheel lawnmower. I'm also using three 3 8 washers, a 5 inch 
3 8 hex bolt and we'll need one nut with it as well. Now it's as easy as just putting a puzzle together. We're going to slide the hex bolt through two washers and stick it on the outside of the wheel assembly. Now putting the wheel on, we'll put one more washer over the bolt, we'll attach the nut, and we'll be ready for the tractor. And it really does glide that easily. I have already attached an 8 inch 2x4 to the tractor. Before I did that, I slid a 6 inch 3 8 hex bolt through the 2x4 with a washer through it. This will accept the wheel assembly and this will be done at the pivot point of the wheel assembly. After tightening the bolt, we are ready to move on to our next step which is to put the stationary pin on the chicken tractor. The last remaining step is to put the stationary pin on the chicken tractor. The stationary pin will be on the same horizontal line as your pivot point. This is very important because when the wheel is engaged, the stationary pin will hold the wheel assembly in place and this will raise your tractor up to the initial height that you measured for at the beginning. Once your stationary pin is in place, it's time to see if the assembly works. And that is what we call a successful pivot wheel system. So now when your chickens need greener pasture, it's as easy as doing this. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, please leave positive comments, and if you have any suggestions on a better way to do this, or would like to have any questions answered, please leave us comments below and we'll answer as soon as we can. Thanks for watching and have a great day.